Yes, the Real Time Film Festival from the 24th to the 30th of June in partnership with us here at Wazobia Max. And for the past few days, we've been bringing in contestants. And of course, today is not going to be any different. We have some more contestants in the studio here to talk to us about what they're expecting to bring and also receive from this year's Real Time Film Festival. Now, to my immediate left, I have Ify Chooks. And then to my far left, I have Jayman Uhuru alongside someone who he's also working with as well, and that is Chad Sepas. So they are a team, the two of you. So Jayman and Chaz, you're a team, and you have your own team, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so welcome Ify, Jayman and Chaz to the studio. It's great to have you here on Hello Nigeria today. Yeah, now, yeah. let's speak about the Real Time Film Festival. What are you expecting to bring to this year's theme and also to the festival as a whole? All right, is that our question or his? Oh, go for it, go for it. All right, um, actually, uh, you see, we believe in uh, what we do, you understand, and what we expect from... Um, RTF is to just get the platform for people to notice what we do, you understand? So because we've been through this over some time now, you understand? So we've been going to other real projects and things like that. So I think the more we go, the more exposure, the more, you know, we get real people to, to actually see what we do. Okay, cool. And Ify, what about you? Yeah, I, I see this as a, a big privilege and opportunity to do what I want to do and what I know how to do best. It's actually, I've not done the kind of uh, a big project, mm -hmm. but this is an opportunity for me to, like you say, it's a challenge, and I'm ready to go for it. Okay, great. Now, Chaz, this year's theme is stories that touch, right? Yeah. What exactly does that mean to you? To me, um, this is about telling a story that resonates with everyone. It's about impact. It's not just about, it's not about show. It's just to reach out to someone out there and just tell them they're not alone in that situation or condition they are in. All about this thing is just for us just to tell the story, the African story, because we are rich with stories and we have a culture that a lot of other continents are looking up to, to learn from. We're definitely rich in stories, but it's often argued that one of the main problems we're seeing in Nollywood today is we're the third largest for producing on such a mass scale, yet the quality that's coming out is not necessarily competitive on the global market. How do you take that and where do, your filmmakers, right? Yeah, Essentially, yeah, it's okay, cool. Yeah, so yeah. how do you take that and where do you stand on that notion that some people may believe? Uh, the, the, see, the in thing is funding. You see, we've been begging the government over time to, to, to look into that, you understand, so that they, they, we can shoot the things we want to shoot that comes to our imagination, you understand? Because, see, film is imaginative, yeah. you understand? And when you are actually thinking of something and you don't have resources to get that, you begin to improvise. And when you improvise, it limits some of this beauty that you want to actually achieve, you understand? So it's basically funding. It's not as if um, we don't know what we're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Believe you me, every filmmaker in Nigeria is a very good, detailed storyteller. Okay, every filmmaker in Nigeria is a very good and detailed storyteller. Now, yeah. tell me a bit about your teams. What is your team called? And Ify, what's your team called as well for the Real Time Film Festival? My team is Two Eyes Concepts. Two Eyes Concepts. Okay, yeah. and what about you guys? Team Magnanimity. Team Magnanimity. Magnanimity. So yeah. we have two eyes concepts of magnanimity. Now I'm going to take you guys on a head to head for the next five minutes or so. And I'm going to start over with the two eyes concepts. Okay. Tell me why you guys are the best group going forward at the Real Time Film Festival this year. Um, I'm not seeing us as the best. What I'm seeing, I see um, different minds coming together to achieve something. And I've not met, um, I've not worked with so many of them for a while, mm -hmm. but while we, in our meetings, I discovered that we have the same mindset and that's really gonna help us achieve what we wanna achieve in this festival. Okay, and why would you guys say that you're the best and you deserve to win whatever you're going to win at the Real Time Film Festival this year? Well, for me, I... I'm only excited to be at the festival for just one reason. I just want to be heard. I want to tell a story. Because in as much as I know, be it stories that I touch or not, filmmaking, for me, is all about um, sending a message or passing a message across to shape mentalities of people, all and sundry. 
when mentalities are reshaped, it begins to impact on the immediate environment. So I am going in there to make a bold statement. I'm not motivated by whatever what I stand to gain. Fit making is life to me. So I see this as just for me to just like, okay, fine. Let the whole world know that we have this. Okay. We can do this. And we have something to prove. To and Jason, where do you stand on this? Uh, actually, uh, I keep telling people there is no best. That's why the awards come every year, you understand? Because if you are the best of all time, there's no point for the awards, mm. you understand? Like last year, we, we, our, our short film, Arami, they won um, Bond TV Award, as in Bond uh, Short Film Awards, you understand? We did not plan to win, you understand? But we just made sure that hard work and everything was given to something we love, you understand? So at the end of the day, we became winners, you understand? Yeah. So we, we were on the same pedestal with the likes of Last Lot in Maswe, mm -hmm. and everyone was like, who are those people? So we want the who are those people to be seen this year again. So we're going to give it all. Whether we win or not, believe you me, we just want to have fun. Okay, well, on that note, we have a short video from one of your clips. So viewers, check it out. And when we're back, the Real Time Film Festival contestants will still be here speaking with me. Now, Chaz, that is one of, sorry, not Chaz, yeah, Chaz, yeah. right? It was one of your films. Okay, yeah. so tell me what inspired that direction. Uh, it uh, stands on from my life. I, I, I had a troubled childhood growing up, and then I had some complications which affected me in such a way, my voice. And that's why my intonation sounds somehow, I'm not even ashamed to even mention that. So I, then it was at that period, I find it very hard to express myself. And people laugh at me and people make fun of me, jest me. Even those I even trusted to understand my situation, my plight. Then in that moment, at that moment, I became a writer. I started looking for a way to express my thoughts because I couldn't inhabit every thought that come to yeah. me. So I started writing from there. It was there, after a few years, I, I got informed I would be a storyteller and a filmmaker. Later, you got informed? I was informed by my sixth sense. Okay. So I started, then I became so passionate about it, I started going out for this thing, even against my pursuing education further. And then, then I looked at it, I had four films to choose from, scripts to choose from. I started to show this because I definitely know that a lot of people are gr uh, grappling with issues they couldn't handle, they couldn't even express with somebody else. But other people, they get judged for just being the plight, particular plight they are in. So I started to shoot around me day so I can tell that disabled person or that hearing impaired person or that blind person or that impoverished person that you are not alone, that there is hope. That's amazing. Just like hope is the only thing that makes you live through every circumstance. Yeah. Hope is what gives you that fabric of purpose that you can really actually not live, mm -hmm. not for today alone, but for tomorrow. That's amazing. Hope brings about virtually everything we accomplish in life. Sure, yeah. And that was what inspired me to shoot. And despite the challenges I went through, I had a lot of challenges while shooting Aramidi, ranging from the way society has turned out to be. And then the kind of uh, crew I had then. But eventually, I pulled through. There was the hope that one day, somebody will call me out and say, why did you do this? Mm. And I will tell them, it's my story. That's amazing. That's and that is amazing. exactly what brought about it. And I can hear the passion in your voice as well when you speak. So I know how passionate you must be mm. as a filmmaker. Now, when it comes to the time of film festivals, it must be so exciting for all filmmakers. Like, you're going around with other filmmakers. It's kind yeah. of like the entire clique coming together. So <laughs> what would you say you're looking forward to the most? All of you. Um, what would you say you're looking forward to the most from the Real Time Film Festival this year? Oh, well, uh, on a personal note, like, okay, look at what um, life can bring to you. About, it's not a week ago, I don't know him from Adam. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. gave him a number and he called me that he needed this particular equipment and blah, 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 and I was on set. I just have to excuse the director that, sorry, director, I have to make this particular call because I don't know if he was stranded wherever he is. You know, maybe, you know, sometimes you, you, you are shooting it's and equipment just happen to yeah. go down. Instead. So I don't know the situation that brought that, that warranted because I don't know him from anywhere. Now, fast forward to now. 
So when we were now trying to exchange numbers now, you know, it now happened, ah, he dialed my number and I was already a contact. It was like, how? So you understand? So sometimes it's not just about the festival, it's about the people. When you meet each other, you can do greater things tomorrow. And there's no work without a network. You and understand? film so, festivals are perfect exactly, for networking. Those are, you understand? So when you yeah. meet for a greater good, you understand? I, I think when you meet now, you can meet for a better things tomorrow, you understand? Mm. So it's not just about the festival. Though you are going to actually say, yeah, you met during this, during that, which is your reference point, but then tomorrow matters. Okay, Ify and Chaz, does that resonate with you as well? Is that how you guys both feel? Yes, yes. Perfect, yes. so we're all on the same page here. And now, how can people find out more information about you on social media if they want to reach out, maybe see more of your films, or find out more about you personally? My, all right, okay. you go. Yeah, my social handle is uh, Ify Chips, I F Y. Yeah, on this, oh, for Instagram is ify dot and c h u k s. Same thing is on my Facebook is ifichux, Twitter ifichux. Okay, perfect. And what about you? All right, me on Facebook I am J Smile Uhuru J S M I L E J and Smile on uh, Facebook then Uhuru then on um, social media like uh, uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram I am just simply my name is J Smile. Okay, cool. And what about you, Jazz? I'm 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 just me, <laughs> Charles Chijoke Surfers on Facebook and on Twitter and the Instagram um, at filmfreak76. Okay, cool, perfect. So thank you all so much for coming on the show today, and of course, I'm wishing you all the very best and more at the Real Time Film Festival this year. But more than that, I hope you have a great time, manage to build up your networks, and progress as filmmakers. It's been a pleasure. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.